I am an urban transportation advisor. Today I would like to tell you about a unique railroad in Japan. What do you like about Japan? I like that there is a lot of strange and fun culture. Today, I would like to introduce you to the Choshi Dentetsu, which is a little bit strange. Entry to Japan is through Narita Airport. I usually take the Limited Express from there to Tokyo. This time, you will get off the Limited Express train at Narita Station, only one stop away, and change to a regular train bound for Choshi. Incidentally, this regular train was used on the Kihinta-Hoku line in Tokyo, and after its retirement, it is used on these regional lines. I'm sure you have all ridden on them when you visited Tokyo. It takes about one and a half hours to arrive at Choshi Station. From here you can take the Choshi Electric Railway, which is the train you are looking for. Get off the train and head for the end of the platform. There you will find the Choshi Dentetsu boarding platform. This is Choshi Dentetsu. It is a local private railway running in Choshi City. It is a 6.4 kilometers long railroad that departs from Choshi Station and connects Nakanokyo, Kanon, Kimigahama, Inubu, and Tagawa. All rolling stock is reused from Tokyo Railroad Companies. The interior of the car was adorably decorated that day. This is a collaborative project with a Japanese musician, allowing visitors to experience the Japanese culture of Kawaii. Tickets can be purchased from the conductor inside the train, and a one-day free ticket costs 700 yen. It also includes discount coupons for stores along the line. Trains departing from Choshi Station will soon arrive at Nakanocho Station. This station is very demanding for Choshi Electric Railway, which manages train operations and services. The Nakanocho Station is equipped with a system that manages Choshi Electric Railway's operations, and it also houses the President, Station Master, and waiting room for crew members. This is the entrance to the headquarters. It has a very retro atmosphere. A factory that produces soy sauce is located next to Nakanocho Station. In the past, soy sauce was delivered from here to all over Japan by freight train. The premises smells very good of soy sauce. If you buy an admission ticket at the counter, you can visit the inside of the garage. Visitors can see trains that were operated by Choshi Dentetsu in the past, as well as a small German-made electric locomotive that used to pull freight trains carrying soy sauce. The train runs through a green tunnel with many trees. This is one of the attractions of Choshi Dentetsu. At Kasagami Kurohi Station, trains are passing each other. This tablet is a passport that allows you to go to the section ahead.
I arrived at the Inubu station. From here, you can walk to Inubasaki. On New Year's Day, it is crowded with many tourists who come to see the first sunrise of the year. This station has a station attendant and a store. One of Choshi Dentetsu's specialties is the famous Wetsunbei wet rice crackers. It is said that when the Choshi Electric Railway was in danger of being closed down, rice cookie was sold through the nationwide network, saving the line from closure. Various other souvenirs related to Choshi Electric Railway are also sold here. The person lifting the train is the president of Choshi Electric Railway. President Takimoto came up with a variety of bizarre ideas for Choshi Dentetsu, which was in crisis, such as haunted house train, movie production, confectionery production, and implementation of events. The company's actions are said to have attracted supporters from all over Japan. We arrived at Tokawa Station, the last stop. Actually, the station name of Choshi Electric Railway is for sale, and the purchaser can decide the name of the station as a subname. Tokawa Station means Arigatu Station or Thank You. It is an old Japanese-style wooden station building. Tokawa is a town with a thriving fishing industry. A retired train has been preserved and restored by volunteers. Choshi Dentetsu has been on the verge of closure several times, but with support from all over the country and some quirky ideas, the line is still in operation today. Please visit when you come to Japan.